Um, somebody left this in my comments and they were like, do you think YouTubers should be worried about TV personalities coming to YouTube and doing their own reviews of their shows? No, my answer is absolutely not. Um, I will be honest and say I used to think that when Candy Burris first came to YouTube. But over time, what I actually noticed was that Candy actually gave us more content to talk about. She added value with giving her reviews to her own shows. So we talked about that shit too. <laughs> boom, exactly. And I guess it's just about how they, they come. I love getting like the behind the scenes because they're able to tell us extra, like what else is yes. going on? I appreciate that. They put the pieces together for us and it just brings, you know, more content and stuff. So yeah. And shout out to Candy for having us on the platform and other, um, you know, uh, celebrities or whatnot that have come and they've been able to have other, you know, YouTubers on their show. So, I mean, I think nobody should really be worried about it too much. Also, everybody can't be a YouTuber. Like you might be able to come up here and do a video here sure. and there, get some, you know, pay production to come. Yes. Every now, but to be somebody that can just get up here with your own setup and do this shit, like that's yeah. a different thing. Um, so I feel like there's still always, um, a difference. They're your yeah. YouTubers that you're going to get your weekly, your daily, you know what I'm saying? And then they got the celebrities that might come on here and give you some content every now and again. Like it takes a lot of work to make YouTube work. So that's why it's not easy for, you know, people that do reality TV and all of that to just jump on here and make it pop like that. Like that's why you'll see people who had like, you know, a big following not be able to garner the same amount of success on YouTube because it actually takes work. And a lot of reality TV show people do not want to work. Mm -mm. And even, especially doing the shit live like I feel like in this sector of YouTube is more so of like putting on a show being very thought provoking also being entertaining which the people on the TV shows they're entertaining when they have a lot of edits um, and sometimes right, they right. can't really divulge right. into their relationships the way that somebody else can looking from the outside because I feel mm -hmm. like one of the three things we all have in common that we always talk about is like our ability to just analyze people. You know, that's why they always be like, you're not a psychiatrist, you're not a doctor, but no, I, you know, my level of discernment is there. I can talk about stuff like that. So no, I don't think people should be concerned. Um, you can I shout immediately out thought about when Nene tried to do it for a second. Mm -hmm. um, even Dr. Heavenly doing her own show so much like her, reviews don't really seem too much to be about the show but it always be something foolish that happened when she on live and then people clipping and they talk about it mm -hmm. but two totally different things i mean for honestly sure. she wouldn't even know what happened on her own fucking show when she was reviewing it sometimes so for me it's just kind of like it's just everybody brings something different to the table so there's no need to be worrying about what anybody else is doing to be honest yeah and then i feel like a lot of them may come but they don't stay Mm -mm. Because I think sometimes, especially now with like what every, every the cost of living, everything is like super high. So I feel like people look at this as another opportunity to try to get a bag real quick. Let me try to garner that attention with the celebrity I already got. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, and then if they ain't got like the passion for it or anything, they just going to be like, OK, cool. Let me go on back to what I was doing or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. I don't think nobody should be worried. Just do you mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Okay.